Log in now and steal along on your mobile, tablet, laptop or TV. Today, four new contestants will enter the Big Steel Arena. Will anyone steal their way to a mountain of cash? In the show, where the longer they wait, the greater the reward is. Drama. Strategy. High stakes. Who will hold their nerve, eliminate their rivals, and emerge victorious? Here on The Big Steel. Hello and welcome to The Big Steel, the show where cheats never prosper, but thieves do. Four new contestants will be joining me tonight in the hope of winning a huge amount of cash. Before the show, they drew lots to decide the order of play, and our first contestant is Jonathan. Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm 24 years old. I'm an actor and writer. I'm very strategic, but I'm also very instinctive, so I'm going to be unpredictable in the game. I've got a very good level of general knowledge. I think that's what's going to push me forward towards winning the money at the end of the game. He's a good evening, Jonathan. Welcome along to The Big Steel. Thank you very much. It was uh, once said by a rich man that it takes money to make money. So here on The Big Steel, we start the competition by giving each contestant £40,000 to play with. And not only that, a chance to steal even more. So, Jonathan, this is your chance to qualify for one of the all-important podium positions. I'm going to ask you three questions. The longer you wait to buzz in and give me the answer, the more money you could win or lose. Give me an incorrect answer, and we'll take back the value of that question from your £40,000. Are you ready? Definitely. Here is your first question. Which of these Oscars has actually won an Oscar? Oscar de la Hoya, Oscar Wilde, or Oscar Hammerstein II? You've waited to £9,850, just got in there. What's your answer? Oscar Hammerstein II. Is the right answer. So you move up to almost £50,000. Good start. Question number two. Which of the following mythical gods is not associated with war? Mars, Ares, Anubis. Went earlier that time. 5,500 yeah. pounds. I'm pretty sure it's Anubis. Anubis is the correct answer. Yeah, towards 55,000 pounds now. Question number three. Which of these alloys contains carbon, pewter, stainless steel, or sterling silver? £4,450. What's I'm your answer? I'm going to go with stainless steel. Not bad. Three out of three, that is the correct answer, and that takes you up to just under £60,000. But will it be enough to keep you in the game? Please take your place behind the podium. So, let's meet the next contestant, hoping to win her way through. It's Amy. Hello, I'm Amy Vivian. I'm 21 years old, and I'm a personal assistant. I am a massive risk taker. I'm going to hold out and wait to buzz until the very last second. Amy, how you doing? Very good, thank you. Welcome to the Big Steel. Same rules apply as before. Three questions, £40,000 start. The longer you wait, the more you win or lose. Are you ready? I am ready. Here is your first question. Which of these daily broadsheet papers has the highest circulation? Is it The Independent, The Times or The Telegraph? It's quite a quick buzz, Amy. What are you going for? The Telegraph. Could have waited a bit longer. It's the correct answer. £3,550 added to your total. Question number two. Which of these words means society would be ruled by priests? Is it a theocracy, 
an aristocracy or a democracy? £9,250. You've got to be sure about this one. What are you going for? Theocracy. Is the right answer. You've stolen another £9,000. Question number three. Which mountain range is referred to as the backbone of England? The Black Mountains, the Pennines or the Cairgorns? £6,850. What's your answer? The Pennines. You seem very confident. You nodded when you heard that question. It is the correct answer. Three from three as well for you, Amy, and that takes you up to just under £60,000. But of course, you have no idea how Jonathan got on. Please take your place behind the podium. Time to meet our third contestant. It's David. My name's David Jacob. I'm 44 years of age and I run my own taxi company. If I steal enough money, I will buy a house for me and my boy. My boy is my life, so I have to win. Are you all right, David? Yeah, not bad at all. Here is your £40,000 stake and here is your first question. Which of these types of road crossings was introduced most recently in the UK? Panda, Puffin or Zebra? £9,850, you're a taxi driver, you should know this. Zebra. Incorrect. Really? Puffin crossing is the answer, David. Never heard of that. Maybe quit the day job. Find <laughs> You lose £9,850. On to question two. What is the surname of the illustrator who created Yes Minister drawings? Socks, stocking or scarf? £9,700. Scarf. Scarf is correct. So you've pretty much broken even. It's all on this one. Question number three. Which of these singers didn't attend the famous Brit school? Adele, Ellie Goulding, or Jessie J? For £7,300, go in a bit earlier. I'm going to go with Ellie Goulding. Is the right answer. Managed to recover all right in that round. So that takes you up to £47,150. But of course, Jonathan, and Amy have already been, and you've got no idea how your stealing skills compare to theirs. Not at all. Take your place behind the podium, please. But don't get too comfortable. Three podiums, four contestants. Will the fourth steal one of your places? Let's meet Angela. My name is Angela. I'm 45 years old and I'm a casino inspector. I play a lot of poker, so I'm used to working out other people's strategies. I'm really competitive. I don't even let my children win when we play Monopoly. <laughs> For more. She's Angela, this is crunch time now. If you want to steal one of the podium places from Jonathan or David or Amy, you may need to add a significant amount of money to the £40,000 that we start you off with. Three questions. The longer you wait, the more money you could win or lose. Here is your first question. EastEnders actress Lila Morse is the elder sister of which Hollywood actor? Is it Hugh Grant, Gary Oldman or Tim Roth? Quite an early buzz on that one. What are you going for? Yeah, I really, I have no idea, so I'm going to take a guess at Tim Roth. Incorrect. It was Gary Oldman, I'm afraid, but you haven't lost that much money, I suppose. Question number two. In which UK city was HMS Titanic built? Glasgow, Southampton, Belfast. <laughs> Leaving it very late. Bang on £10,000. So that means... You better get this one right. Yeah, well, I think it was Belfast. It is Belfast. Question number three. 
Which of these George Orwell novels features the omnipresent figure of Big Brother? 1984, Burmese Days, Animal Farm. All right, £4,150. Well, I did Animal Farm at school, and I don't remember it being that, so I'm going to go 1984. 1984 is the correct oh. answer. So that takes your score up to £51,500. Do you think these three may well have beaten you? Yeah, they could easily have thrashed that target, I would think. Come join me this side of the stage, please, and face your rivals. Angela, Jonathan, Amy and David, which three of you will progress to the next stage of the big steal? OK, Jonathan, started off with £40,000 and moved up to £59,800. You're still in danger at this point. Amy. What did you make of your £40,000? Good. Yeah, better than Angela. £59,650, which means it's between Angela and David, our taxi driver who didn't know what a puffin crossing was. <laughs> Let's find out. From £40,000, you are up to £47,150. So you made it. By about four grand. Yeah, just about. But David, you haven't stolen well enough. So we're going to take it all back. We reduce that money to zero. Gone. I will. And you have to leave now. Cheers. <laughs> Got rid of David. Well done. Please take your practice. Thank behind you. The podium. Jonathan. Angela and Amy, you've shown us that you're smart, but are you smart enough to use your brains and your cunning to steal money from your rivals? Which of you will progress to the next stage of the competition? In this stage, guys, I ask questions worth up to £10,000, and the amount that you can win will rise the longer that you wait to give me an answer. And here is the twist. The first person to give me the correct answer now gets to decide who to steal that money from. If you give me the incorrect answer, you lose that money, and then one of the others can buzz in as well. When you hear this sound, that means there will be just one minute left to play. Let's start the game. Here is your first question. Who was named Time Magazine's Person of the 20th Century? Ronald Reagan, Albert Einstein, or Winston Churchill? Amy just beat Jonathan to the buzzer for £6,288. Albert Einstein. It is the correct answer. Who are you stealing from? Jonathan. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just pleased it wasn't me. <laughs> First blood to Amy. Question number two. If you suffer from aquagenic urticaria, what are you allergic to? Fire, earth or water? Angela is in first. Well, it's a pure guess, but with aqua, I would say water. You're right. £2,912. You're going to steal it from whom? Jonathan, sorry, Jonathan. Jonathan's coming in for a bit of punishment already. Do you feel ganged up upon him? Just a little bit. All right, on we go. Question number three. Which of these classic children's TV shows aired in the UK first? Bagpuss, The Clangers, or The Wombles? Andrew is in quickly again, but you're not going to win much money. No, well, I thought they'd probably know it as well. I used to watch all of these when I was a child, but I think it would be... Go on. Bagpuss. Is incorrect. Oh. You lose that money, but the other two are still in play. The Clangers or the Wombles? Jonathan, first. I think it was the Clangers. The Clangers is 
Correct, for £3,925. Who are you going to steal from? I'll bet back off Amy, if you don't mind. <laughs> Amy gives back that money. <gasps> On we go. Question number four. Where would you find the city of Argos? Greece, Turkey or Italy? Amy's gone in first. No one else tried. What do you reckon? It's a guess, but Turkey. Turkey is incorrect. So you lose that money and the other two are back in play. Angela? I think it's Greece. It is the right answer. It is Greece. £4,712, who are you stealing from? Sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> it's all very even, though. You're all within the 50 to 60 grand. On we go. After which area of New York City did Mr and Mrs Beckham name their son? Brooklyn, Jersey, Clyde. You all went for it then. Angela Quickish, though. Yeah, Brooklyn. You're right. £1,225. Who's it coming off? Jonathan. What did Jonathan I do? Again. <laughs> You're a man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it really is girl power at the moment, I'm afraid. Question number six. What designer said, when accessorising, always take off the last thing you put on? Yves Saint Laurent, Donatella Versace or Coco Chanel? <laughs> One minute to go. Jonathan, you buzzed in. I don't know why I know this, but I'm pretty sure it's Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel is right. £1,788. Who are you going to steal? I think it's going to have to be Angela. Angela, <laughs> you lose that money. On we go. Which football club would you associate with a Canary? Cardiff City, Norwich City, Newcastle United. And just in quick. Um, the Canaries at Norwich City. Is correct. So you're going to steal a grand from whom? Jonathan. Jonathan again. I think they might be trying to knock you out of the game. Just a guess. <laughs> On we go. Which of these department stores is Britain's oldest? Marks and Spencers, Selfridges or Debenhams? Angela again. I think it's Selfridges, but this is a guess. Incorrect. So you lose that money. And not only that, that is the end of the game, but we still have to answer this question. And remember, Amy and Jonathan can answer it and steal, possibly, from you. Which of these department stores are Britain's oldest? Amy. Marks and Spencer. Marks and Spencer's is wrong for £4,038. You lose that money as well. The answer is Debenhams. Let's find out who's going through to the next stage of the big steal. Amy, £53,000. £826. And Angela, not too far behind, £53,512. £49,374. That is the lowest amount of money. You had a chance right at the end there, Jonathan, to try and get your money up, but I had no idea unfortunately, what the was. your stealing skills are not up to scratch. <laughs> but you did know about Coco Chanel. So I done. did, I did, yes. <laughs> but you know what happens now? We have to take that all back. You have to leave us now. Cheers. And then there were two. Join us after the break when Amy and Angela will go head to head for a place in the finale right here in the Big Steel Arena.
Well, welcome back to The Big Steel. Amy and Angela have made it through this far. It's now a straight shootout, and at stake is a place in our big money finale. To up the game, we've increased the stakes of each question. So they're now worth a minimum of £10,000 and a maximum of £20,000. And if you buzz in and you get the correct answer, you steal the money from your rival. But if you're wrong, your rival steals it from you. You've worked quite well as a team so far to get rid of Jonathan. <laughs> but there's barely anything between you, a matter of hundreds of pounds. So this is a cat fight, and it's time to get your claws out. Here is your first question. Which was the first London Underground line to be built? Central, Victoria, Metropolitan. Angela, you bust in first. I think it's the Metropolitan line. How confident are you with that? I had to go on the Met line every day and it is absolutely old and decrepit, so I'm fairly confident. Okay, £12,000, yes, is correct answer. Amy, you lose that much money. On we go. Which of these artistic movements is the oldest? Surrealism, Cubism or Impressionism? Amy's busting first this time. What do you reckon, Amy? Surrealism. Is the wrong answer. It was Impressionism. You lose 14 grand. Added to Angela's total, she's nearly up to 80 grand. Question three. Which is the best-selling flavour of crisps in the UK's pubs? Salt and vinegar, ready salted, cheese and onion. I saw you watching a buzzer so closely. <laughs> You got in first, though, Angela, I for £12,000. I don't know, pounds. though. It's one of two. Um, I'm going to go salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar is wrong. <sighs> so Amy gets back up towards £40,000. The correct answer is cheese and onion. OK, which of these is the most used fossil fuel? Coal, oil or gas? Amy, what do you reckon? It's a risk game, so I'm going to just guess and say coal. Is right. Yes. So you steal £14,000 from Angela and you are fighting back. On we go. Who was the subject of Tom Bauer's biography, Sweet Revenge? Gordon Brown, Simon Cowell or Joseph Cadbury? Angela's in first again. I think it was political, so I'm going to go Gordon Brown. You've picked exactly the right moment. To, to start losing. Oh, no. That is the wrong answer. The answer is Simon Cowell. Oh. So £10,000 goes back to Amy. <sighs> Next question. Which of these computers was released first? The ZX Spectrum, BBC Micro or the Commodore 64? <laughs> One minute to go. Amy's buzzed in at 13 and 875. The Commodore 64. Is incorrect. It was the BBC Micro. That money goes back to Angela and the pendulum swings again. Next question. Where will the next Eurovision Song Contest be? Azerbaijan, Germany or Sweden? Angela's buzzed in. This could be crucial. What are you saying? I think it's Sweden. Correct. £12,000 swings from Amy to you. Next question. What decade saw the Tower of London's final execution? The 30s, the 40s or the 50s? Amy's busted in at 14 grand. I'm going to take a wild guess and say the, the 30s. Is incorrect. The answer is the 40s. £14,000 goes to Angela. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Angela, you were swinging like crazy, <laughs> but you managed to get yourself back in front when it mattered. £81,387. Oh, Amy, 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 <laughs> Amy. You got coal. Well done. Thanks. But not much I else. tried. £25,951. So in total, from the £40,000 we gave you, you gave us back fifteen grand. That was nice of me. Yeah, but it wasn't good enough for the show, I'm afraid. So we take it all back. You have to leave now. Thank you. Angela, you've doubled your money from your rival, so you can steal away a maximum tonight 
of £81,387. That'd be fabulous. But the big question is, how much money will you actually leave with today? All, some, or nothing? Angela, in order to keep any of the money that you've stolen from your rivals, you must now give me five correct answers in a time based on your winnings so far. You have £81,387. That gives you 81 seconds on the clock, a minute and 21 seconds. From the moment I start asking your questions, the money will go down at a rate of £1,000 a second. However, as soon as you give me a correct answer, your money will return to the previous value. If you are incorrect or you choose to pass on that question, the value will be reset and your potential prize money will decrease. There's one way that you can steal the maximum amount tonight. That is to get five correct answers in a row. Angela, your time starts now. Who is the author of The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe? C.S. Lewis. Correct. What stage name was adopted by Adolf Arthur Marx? Um, um, Groucho Marx. No, Harpo. New value, 69,000. Viv Richard plays test cricket for what side? West Indies. Correct. In the 60s, Jean Shrimpton became famous as a what? Model. Correct. Whose first UK number one was... I should be so lucky. Kylie Minogue. Correct. You need one more correct answer. What precious metal can occur in the ore argentite? Gold. No, silver. Ugh. New value, 59, 58,000 pounds. The first atomic bomb was tested in which US state? Pass. New Mexico. Which actress co-starred in Dirty Dancing alongside Patrick Swayze? Jennifer Grey. Correct, that is five correct answers. You've done it. <laughs> Started off so well. I know, it was going really well and there was just that dodgy one about the precious metal, but hey, yeah. I'm happy. I'm well happy with that. Did you think it might go even further down or were you... I was worried, because once you get one wrong, you sort of think, oh no, I'm glad my dad made me watch cricket now when I was younger. Viv Richards, Viv what Richards. a legend. I know, definitely. Well, well done. Thank you. You walk away tonight with 49,300. And 87 pounds. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, that is it for today. Join me next time where four new contestants will be attempting to get away with barefaced robbery here on The Big Steel. Till next time, bye bye. <laughs>those playing online get ready to play the final in the next five minutes and who knows it could be you next time here in the big steel arena